Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live at the Winter Wondergrass Festival in lovely Lake Tahoe, California, from the Olympic Valley Stables with Town Mountain. Town Mountain, thanks for joining us, guys. So glad to be here. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, man, it was wonderful for you guys to come all the way out here from Asheville, North Carolina to, uh, to lovely Lake Tahoe. And we're about to share four of your songs with our audience right now. There's a brand new one. There's one from the most recent record and uh, from all across the catalog. Right? Yeah, what do you guys man. want to do first today? This is one, uh, this is a Town Mountain original called uh, Come Break My Heart. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself very much. This is our last last session of the weekend. Uh, we've had a wonderful winter wonder grass weekend. Uh, how has yours been? How what have what have some of your Tahoe highlights been? Whether Lake Tahoe natural beauty related or festival related, music related. What, how's how's your weekend been? It's been wonderful, man. We've been here. Uh, this is our second. This is our first full day. We got in a couple nights ago. Been seeing some buddies play some music. Um, String Dusters played a great set last night. Fruition played a great set. Um, Took a ride to the top of the mountain earlier today with Miles, and the, the natural beauty and the wonder of, of the surrounding area is incredible. It's amazing. So it's, we're just thrilled to be playing music on the road again, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was, man, I mean, I, I spent a number of years growing up here, literally in, in the valley, and um, I had, it's been a while since I've been back here. We just took a tram ride about two hours ago, and I forgot how, it looks like a, like a, di like a Disney version it of is. what it's natural beauty is. Mm -hmm. Like, all those rocks are impossibly yeah. perfectly yeah. formed. Like, it, you know, it seems like yeah. spray-painted styrofoam, but it's not. It's all real. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, man, we're having a really good time, and... Uh, Where, but... Uh... It's a song about some time spent here in the great state of California. This is one called Arcata Breakdown.
appreciated that uh, the bends on that banjo solo that I don't frequently see banjoists doing that. You see guitarists doing that all the time and I feel like that's totally appropriate and applicable to your band. I mean one of the, the most common adjectives I see is genre bending, genre defining, or defying, not defining, um, and I feel like you just did that exact same thing with that instrument. You know you're not going to be pigeonholed in as a, as a banjoist and do the traditional banjo thing so I like that very much. Can you be my personal PR? <laughs> <laughs> Please? <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I will. Dude, I will be your hype man. I will go on tour with you guys. I know there are a ton of tour dates. It's like I'm, I'm vicariously jealous of you and your tour schedule. There's a lot of cool stuff. The 420 Festival, uh, Sweetwater Music Hall tomorrow. You're headed down the Mill Valley. Um, but I, I want to talk a little bit more about genre bending and some of those uh, artists that are really interesting to you guys. I mean, Bill Monroe comes up a lot this weekend. Obviously, he would at a bluegrass festival. But can you talk about some of the artists who have been important to you in sort of forming a common musical vocabulary in this group? Uh, well, I think just to get it out of the way, the Grateful Dead is pretty influential in, in all of our backgrounds, musical backgrounds. Uh, and I, I would venture to say that amongst the six of us, we probably listen to 75 or 80 percent of musical genres out there. Uh, you know, a lot of bluegrass bands, traditional bluegrass bands kind of lean towards listening and paying attention to bluegrass and country music, which is okay and totally cool. We just we love music, you know, from Ray Charles to J.J. Kale to George Jones to um, Mulatu Itstaki, you know, whatever. And you can see that in a lot of the bands here this weekend. A lot of them hold the, the kind of flame to tradition, but incorporate all these other elements. And we love being part of that scene. And we used to play a lot more traditional bluegrass festivals, and, and we slowly realized that, you know, this is where we would like to lean to, respect the past and tradition and, and carry it forward in a, a new light, you know? Yeah, I think that is exactly what you guys are doing. That's, I mean, it's reminiscent. Peter Rowan came in and yeah. did this one at 11 o'clock, and it was a really, really similar uh, conversation about respecting where it all came from, but bending it where, I mean, understanding the rules and the conventions well enough that you know where to break them and why you're breaking them. You know, so I think you guys are doing great at that, and uh, there's still a lot more of your music to be shared. Uh, what do you guys want to do third today? This is a tune that uh, I should, Jesse used to tell me. He's drinking coffee, drinking tea. This is a tune that, that Jesse wrote with, uh, with our buddy Tyler Childers, and we put it on. It's on our uh, new Freedom Blues record. It's one called Down Low. Get to feel 
feeling just right Think I have to go and sit down Do you reckon that they notice? Do you think that they believe? I've been getting in the meanness on the dark end Wait for it. Thank you. Man, it's a lot of fun. I let the, uh, the last note on that. Every time I feel my body, when I physically lean into the thing and you've made me move in my chair, I know you're doing the right thing. I feel good. Again, will you be my PR rep? Yeah. <laughs> Um, we okay, and I've got one more for you as well. Watching the choreography of uh, of bands mixing themselves on one single mic is always a ton of fun to watch. That particularly the fiddle to the lead vocal swap was a was a beautiful dance move. You guys nailed it. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Town Mountain used to play that way, like way way long ago. That was our that was what we did. I mean, we played in front of this setup as a five piece in acoustic suit. bluegrass yeah, band in suit. suits. <laughs> Harkening back to respecting tradition, and then you know, we write all these tunes that are way outside the bluegrass box, and so we put on our jeans, got a drummer, electric <laughs> bass. Yeah, but uh, I mean, the, the choreography is, is still clearly well practiced, well rehearsed, and uh, it's, it's not rehearsed, but it's, 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 <laughs> it's, 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 it's experienced, experienced. Um, we, so you mentioned Ty Tyler Childers, who's uh, one, of, one of my favorites. I know he's been, been covered a lot in Paste, and for all the right reasons, the dude is amazing, as are Billy Strings, as is, as are Billy Strings. God, I'm sleeping. As <laughs> is Billy Strings, as is um, 
uh, Jerry Douglas as well. We've crossed paths with those guys a ton of times. Can you talk a little bit what it's what it's been like collaborating with each, each of those artists and what they all brought to the table? It's been amazing to kind of watch the journey of people like uh, like Tyler, especially. You know, we knew, we've known him for years, and he would come around to our shows in Lexington, Kentucky, and we met him through some mutual friends and just picking with him after a show or something. We all knew instantly, like, this guy's got a real gift. Yep. And so we would, we would have him, like, open shows for us whenever we could. He played tweeners. Like, whenever we could, we were trying to get people to notice him, and eventually they did. And then just to watch it go to where it's gone is, is really cool because he's such a great talent. Same with Billy Strings, you know, like watching these people that are playing real acoustic from the heart, real country music, and like seeing them get the recognition they deserve has been amazing, yeah. Yeah, and yeah I feel it's like it's elevated all, the whole genre, yeah. really. A lot of people have. On at the Grammys, like now ish, or in a couple? Yeah, probably, yeah. Now. Yeah. Um, well, good, man. Thank you for everything so far. There's still one more song of yours to be shared with our audience. What do you guys feel, feel like doing fourth today? This is one we'll do. It um, was on our second record. It was written by a fellow from New Jersey. We'll do it for you right now.
Yeah. Thanks, y'all. All right. Guys, thank you very much for coming and doing it. Have a wonderful rest of your winter wondergrass. You've got late night tonight, right? Yeah, man, we start at 10 o'clock. All right, yeah. good luck on that. We're either going to be horizontal or um, fired up on fire and uh, <laughs> hanging out with you guys till the sun comes up. So uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, thank you again, and we'll cross paths with you next time. I don't know where. Hopefully in Asheville, man. I like it there a lot. Sounds great. Come on and visit us, man. Thanks for having us. All right, see you next time. That's that. We did it. Yeah. Yeah.